I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think 90% of my viewers even leave their room. So this video is for you guys, the ones that can't look outside and check the weather. I'm kidding, of course. But I made a, I guess, a weather alert daemon. And what it does is it sends you a notification if there's a weather alert in your area. So I'm just going to pull up the script here real quick and show you. So the first thing it does is it gets your region based off your IP address. If you have a VPN on, it probably will not work. Actually, I'm, I'm quite sure it won't work because it'll get the IP address of your VPN. So turn that off um, because this only works in America because that's where the National Weather Service is. That's where I am. So that's uh, that's one thing to keep in mind if you're outside of America, which you're probably not. The very large amount of my viewers are in America. But if you are, sorry, you'll have to make your own script or maybe you can do something similar and send it to me. I'll look at it. So next thing that it does is it gets the URL of the API for your region. So let's just say if we were in Florida, for instance, which is the example I'm going to use for this video since there's no alerts in my area right now. Uh, we'll just go to region and we'll type in FL. It's just the state. Oops, I meant to type curl. There we go. And you can see it spits out a bunch of extra stuff. And so then what we do is we take that and we look for NWS headline, National Weather Service headline. So I'll show you the output of that real quick. And so you can see it says wind advisory remains in effect until 2 p.m. Uh, I guess tomorrow. So uh, and then I do a little bit of formatting after that, but that's not really that important. And what it does is when you first run it, it tries to get an alert. And if it can't get any kind of alert, like the file just ends up being blank, it can't get a headline. And it says no alerts at this time. Now, it doesn't do that down here inside the loop because I don't want to send you a message every, well, right now I have it set to 5 for the video, but it's going to be 60. Um, I don't want to send you a message every 60 seconds saying no alerts, that'd be annoying. So I only start it, or I only send the alert on the first time you run just so you know that it's running properly. And then after that, it'll do whatever alerts come up in the future. So I wanted to show that it actually does work the way that you would think whenever the API updates and you curl a new one that, or I guess curl the new, um, well, I guess curl the update. I'm not really sure a lot about APIs. I'm kind of new to using them, but I wanted to show you that it really does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, hold on real quick. Uh, I'm just going to recover, I guess. Here we go, and I'm gonna go to a NWS headline. So this is just a curled version of the, uh, I guess the uh, Florida API. And I decided if I update it, this is on my server. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna comment this part out real quick. Get this. All right, and then go to weather alert. And uh, for now, you can see, let's actually save this. We'll make it uh, say, actually for now, I'm going to make it not be able to find NWS headline just so you can see what that looks like. So it'll say no alerts at this time, like it says at the top right. But um, I'm going to kill it real quick. And actually, you know what? To show that it actually does update in real time, we'll do no alerts at this time. And then I'll put something in here like it's so over real. I'll save it. And then once it goes to update again, just a few seconds, it should print out. And so whenever the National Weather Service updates theirs and you curl theirs, it's going to show the new notification. And as you can see, it's going to be a few seconds, but it will not repeat this because what I have set up is I get the MD5 sum or hash or whatever of the alert every time we curl it. And I compare it to the MD5 sum of the old alert and if they're the same, then I don't do anything. And if they are not the same, then I send a notification of the new alert. So it's very simple. This is my first program where I really interact with APIs. I just want to make a quick video about it. Um, you guys can download it at uh, right on my GitHub. It should be github.com slash swindlesmccoop slash weather alert D. 
And so something like this, this is supposed to just get shoved in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a dot slash weather alert D and to put it in the background, and then I'm going to disown it. Weather alert D. Oops, I need to disown dot slash weather alert D. And so if I close the shell, then it will even, it'll continue updating even if I, uh, well, like I said, I close the shell. And so let's change this to, uh, oops, we are so back. Save that. As you can see in a couple seconds, gonna pop up. We are so back. So I just updated this, as you can see, six minutes ago, I overhauled the entire program. I was using like Jake, JQ or whatever. It's, I guess it's like JSON query. But I didn't want to use that because that thing's slow and kind of bloated. I didn't really like it when I was like, I could probably just use grep and sed for this. Now, for more complicated things, you're going to want to use JQ. But for this, this was pretty simple. So hopefully you guys can enjoy uh, this, I guess, weather alert daemon. Uh, I, was, I was joking about the thing not going outside. Sometimes it's nice to get the weather alerts, but I don't want to always have to go on the website, wait for it to load. I'd rather just get a notification. So uh, I guess I will have a notification for the end of the video. Thanks for watching.